Here are the starters for the second race, a trifecta race. Number one, she's headed home, is owned by Jackie Grigg of Wheatcroft, Kentucky, trained by Tom Grigg, the driver Ronnie Guy. Two is Crown's Royal Lady, owned, trained, and driven by Kathy Rutherford of Justice. Number three, Silent Angel, owned by John Nessa, and four is Shoemaker of Altamont, the trainer John Nessa. Michael Osting will drive. Number four, Casa, owned by Carol and Buddy Graham of Salem, trained and driven by Buddy Graham. Number five is Heather Dune, owned by Katie Duncan of Godfrey, trained by John Cisna. The driver is Tim Bredberg. Number six, Holly's Emulation, owned by Gary Williams of Milan, trained by Jerry Robinson. The driver is Tony Morgan. Number seven, Just Flip It, is owned by Bill and Brenda Langdon of Tams, Illinois, trained by Candy Schooley, and Candy Schooley is the driver. Number 8, G is Eternal, owned by Richard Reck and Arlene Flacco's Flacco Family Farms, LLC, of Alexis, trained by Joel Miller, the driver, Dave McGee. Number 9 is M.A. Lilly. M.A. Lilly is owned by Homer Hinkey of Morrow, by Bob Walker of Carrollton. Bob Walker trains, and Rick Schrock will drive. And number 10, S.S. Stardust, owned by Bill Wright of Morton, Illinois, Donald Coleman of Lebanon, trained by Irvin Miller. Andy Miller is in the bike. This race for Illinois bred three-year-old trotting fillies, win, play, show, exacta, trifecta, wagering, no changes, post time in less than five minutes. This is the first year for this series of $5,000 overnights or non-stakes races for Illinois breads. Here they come, just flip it is off stride and Casa is off stride. They're off and trotting. Holly's emulation grabs the racetrack. Silent Angel is there down toward the rail. These two come to the front together. She's headed home, gets away third. Then crowns Royal Lady, followed by Heather Dune. And Gia's Eternal moving into the first turn. Silent Angel has the lead against the rail, but only for a moment. There goes Holly's emulation, moving up on the outside to get the lead by a length and a half. Silent Angel goes second. She's headed home, is racing in third. Crowns Royal Lady fourth. Heather Dune is fifth. Gia's Eternal is sixth. M.A. Lilly is racing in seventh. S.S. Stardust is eighth. Casa is ninth. Just Flip It is tenth. 30 and two for the opening quarter. Silent Angel goes right back to the top, and here comes She's Headed Home. Silent Angel leads it by a neck. She's Headed Home moves by to take the lead. So now, three lead changes before the halfway point. She's Headed Home takes over by one length and a half. Silent Angel, second by two. Holly's Emulation, third by two. Gia's Eternal, fourth, a half length. Then Crown's Royal Lady. SS Stardust moves up with cover around Heather Dune. And then Casa, followed by M.A. Lilly, and just flip it, the half and 101 and one. She's headed home as the leader by one length. Gia's Eternal is moving up quickly on the outside, followed by SS Stardust in the outer flow of traffic. Silent Angel still there in third against the rail. Behind her, Holly's Emulation is fifth followed by Casa, who's made up a lot of ground to be sixth, five lengths off the lead. They're at the three quarters. She's headed home, leads it a half length. Gia's Eternal second a length. Silent Angel needs room. She's third, locked inside of SS Stardust. Three quarters, 132 and three fifths. She's headed home, leading Gia's Eternal and SS Stardust with Silent Angel fourth toward the rail. Coming to the eighth pole, she's headed home, followed by SS Stardust, who comes at her from the outside. Casa's out in the center of the track. Silent Angel looking for room. It is SS Stardust. Now here comes Silent Angel. Casa far outside, coming to the line. It is SS Stardust. She's headed home, tries to fight back for third, but SS Stardust wins it three parts of a length. Silent Angel second. She's headed home, came back for third in 202 flat. Into the winner's circle, the unofficial winner of race two at DuCoin, number 10, SS Stardust, Andy Miller, the winning driver. That gives Irvin Miller four wins on the week as trainer. That gives Andy four wins on the week as driver unofficially. Irv leads the trainer standings, and Andy now has broken that tie atop the driver standings. Bill Wright of Morton and Donald Coleman of Lebanon are the owners of this Armbro Charger three-year-old filly. 
who was a stakes filly in Illinois at two. And it's bred by David Aaron Holtz of Trivoli, Illinois. Earnings for this filly rapidly approaching $50,000.